welcome happy friday everyone people of the internet welcome this is brover shield all right so uh today it's going to be a little different we won't be touching pa i need some time off i need some time in the sandbox as i like to call it um yeah so without further ado say thank you to our patreons simi the simi toxy sand star striker shadow mystical gaming opn dracer electronics pentadude yuk dracel draco kuregane agent class x fg01 neutral the cool nerd plays vr pixel frostix and hub thank you to each and every one of you for your support uh let's get right into it okay so i loaded up a default template of like the unreal vehicle game and it kind of looks like this so what we'll be doing today we're gonna try to replicate um how the multiplayer of pa works in here to see how to do it correctly why am i doing this the main issue is that i hate going back and forth and having to update my second computer every time i change something it's very long and it's annoying uh and it's not fun to watch for you guys so instead we'll we'll do multiplayer uh right here in this sandbox all on the same pc so that's going to be way faster and once i've acquired the knowledge then i'll probably be able to go back into pa and fix that up okay cool so let's go um let's see first if we can play at two people uh how do we do this again Is it under here? Yeah, max players. Okay, two. Let's see what that does. There you go. Um Yeah. I don't think we are in the same map. Oh, that's right. Um, I need to do net mode and listen server. Okay, so the game mode is <laughs> not made for more multiplayer. Um, interesting fine let's let's use something else instead i'm gonna go in um unreal engine again and we're gonna create the third person template instead i'll be right back i kind of thought that would work but usually epic is very good at just making everything multiplayer i think that's probably unreal's biggest well one of its big um advantage against other game engines so third person um go create it's gonna be just a second three two one 96 percent here we go okay so now if i play i'm alone can jump whatever and then i can go here say two players and do listen server and there you go now we have two people in the same server fun we can interact with each other so the first thing I realized in 
PA is that whenever the game starts, you don't get assigned a pawn. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to create a blueprint. It's going to be, I want to say game mode. We'll call it multiplayer game mode or something. And here default pawn, we're going to remove it with none. Okay. And now we have to assign this. We're going to assign it to, I guess, the map, or we could assign it to the project. Uh, maps and modes. Game mode. Multiplayer game mode. Okay. So now if I press play, it seems I'm still assigned someone, which is interesting. Um, default pawn class. There's also a few things that we can do with the world. Do I need to go up for that? Like here, something? No. World partition. Pawn, new, create, none. Oh, that is annoying. Uh, then we have our... Wait, where is this? What are the references to this? Uh, third person game mode. I knew it. Third person character, let's say none. There you go. Okay, so we are... So this is more like what PA looks like. So when we start the game, we don't get a car assigned to us to control right away. So we're just like floating in midair somewhere. You don't see it because you get assigned a car very quickly, but ultimately you don't get a car right away. And why is that? It's because we we need to instantiate your type of car so in this kind of uh how to say this in this scenario right here it was always the third person character that was getting you know spawned uh but for us we have about like a hundred different cars so it's as if we had a hundred different characters like this one Okay, so now that that's done, I want to know why that game mode was still being used. Um, game mode, ah, uh, game mode, project settings, uh, the world override, it's an override. Okay, so instead, we're going to go to here and select multiplayer. So then if we go back here and we put back the third person character, and we press play, then we're still in our own game mode, which is the multiplayer game mode. Okay, cool. Now we need to voyage to what we like to call the controller. Now, whenever there's a player that connects to a game, a controller kind of gets created. Um, it seems that right now I have no idea where the controller is. Um, player controller. Okay, we need to create our own player controller. That's fine. We'll create our own um, player controller. There it is. My player controller right wonderful now we're gonna change the player controller controller 
to my player controller. There you go. So if we play, then nothing happens. There's nothing special about our controller. Just to make sure it works, we're gonna go to the event graph, we're gonna say begin play, and we're gonna print something. Now, because we're instantiating two players, there should be two hellos getting printed. Let's check it out. Server hello and client hello. Now there was a little more, and that is because each of those windows need to instantiate the other player. So ultimately there would be four messages. To make sure that's the case, we can put 10 seconds here, perhaps. Uh, just a moment, guys. Okay, good. Compile, save, go. Do we get four messages? One, two, three, four, server, server, hello, client, one, hello. Okay, I wanna know something. I assume something in it. Uh, we're gonna go Player ID. Self, is that how it works? And then print. And then 10 seconds. So. Server minus one. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, anyway. Uh, so now we're gonna kind of create our character and then we're gonna possess it. We'll see how that works. So spawn, spawn. Uh, actor from class, yes. Third person character. Sounds lovely. Now, where are we going to spawn? So if I drop, I don't know. Items. What is this? So 1500 to 1000. Oops. Well, there is a spawn point, so I guess I should do that. Okay, so 900, 1100, and 90. Let's try that. 900, 1100, and I'm gonna put a hundred here, something like that. So we're gonna spawn it. So now there should be, because there's, well, let's remove one player. Let's just do one player for now. Let's press play. So I'm gonna try to move with F8. As you can see, uh, this character was just spawned. If I remove this, then there shouldn't be any character, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. Wonderful. So we spawn a character. Let's just make sure it still works. There you go. Yep, spawned. So then what we're going to do, we're going to take control of it. So this possess. There you go. So now when I press play, 
hey, I have control of it. That's amazing. So that's basically what PA does, right? So you don't have any car and then it looks at what car you selected and then it spawns the car and then it gives you possession of it. So now we're going to do this with two players. Let's see how that works. There you go. Now this one somehow That's interesting. That is very very interesting. Um I'm gonna do a check. And it's gonna be like get player uh, ID. It's gonna be like equal equal to minus one. Because that, that shouldn't be a thing. It just shouldn't. Uh, no, only if it's false, you go. Okay. How interesting. Now nobody gets, uh, this is probably self. Is that how it works? interesting so the server this is the server right how do i know this yeah this is the client one so client one was client one minus one How interesting. Um, let's try something. So it's already getting a little bit fuzzy. Uh, we're going to do authority. And we're going to do only do it if you have authority. See how that goes. Okay. There you go, that's much better. So what authority means is that you are the host. Um, now we have two different machines here. It's as if we have two computers. And so we have two hosts. So the client is a host. It has authority. Am I saying a load of garbage? Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Unreal Engine has authority. Okay, the, the client does not have authority. Sorry. So the server created two entities. The server did everything, basically, which is mostly what you want, usually. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so that works. Now, how do you give the character... Um, a different 
um, a different character. Now, something I want to check, UE Mannequin Meshes. So this is UE4 Mannequin. And here we have the male and the female. And I think over here, this is the female. Probably, yep. Um, so Manny and Quinn, I should call them. So we are only using Quinn right now. So we're going to give the choice to either get Quinn or Manny. To do this, we're going to create a user interface. I guess. Menu. This menu, we're going to use what we call a canvas, I think. Canvas panel. Wonderful. Then we're going to use a vertical box. And inside the vertical box, we're going to have three buttons. Can I duplicate and duplicate? Grab everything, put them here. But then we're going to have a horizontal box right in here. And this button and this button is going to be there. There you go. Yeah, that's good. So here we're going to have Manny. Oh, what, what is this? There you go. And then we're going to have Quinn. Uh, we're going to need text. So we've got some text here. We've got some text here. We're going to get some text here. This means this is this is going to be play. Pa Pally. Play. Thank you. This one is going to be Manny. This one's going to be Quinn. Okay. Um, this vertical box is going to be anchored in the center here. We're going to do zero, 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 zero alignment. We're going to do zero five and here we're going to do zero point five. I think that's how it works. And there you go. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to go to our third person character. We're going to duplicate it and it's going to be Manny. And then this one is going to be Quinn. Okay. So Manny, what we're going to use here, I'm going to take that one and we're going to go look for Manny. Ooh, there you go. Okay, compile, save. And now whenever, so we don't need this anymore. So here we can say, hey, do the Manny instead. So when we press play, suddenly we have Manny. But now we want to give the player the choice to either use Manny or Quinn. Simple, right? So here I'm going to disconnect this to make sure that whenever we start the game, we end up 
in the limbo, just like Project Accelerators. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a widget. And that widget is going to be called menu. Owning player get, what is it? Player controller, get player controller. This is basically self, self, right? And then what we're gonna do, uh, input mode, UI only. Uh, do not lock, not sure what that does. Again, player controller here. And something else we want to do, we want to do show mouse cursor set and we're going to set it to yes. Okay. Wonderful. So now when we start playing, do we get a little menu? Uh, no, because because I forgot a critical step of adding this dang thing to the viewport, add to viewport. There you go, there it is. Okay, now we can move on. Something like this. There, now we have the thing. Now when we click the button, nothing's hap nothing happens, which is normal. So what we'll do, we don't need Manny anymore. I cannot dismiss this message. Too bad. So here comes the tricky part. So whenever The game instances of the players do not sync with each other. They don't synchronize. So instead what I'll do, I'm gonna say whenever you click Manny, oh, here, on clicked, we're gonna create a variable. That variable is gonna be uh, selected character and that's going to be what is what are you character it's 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 a character okay so if I go here and I do character there you go character fun compile save So the selected character Is this the right one? Character class reference. I think this is better. Yes, and then we're going to go Manny Good. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with Quinn. Like so. Quinn. We're going to assign one at the beginning just to make sure something is in there. And uh, sorry, we're gonna, and then it's the play button. What do we do when we press play? So play button on clicked. Then this is when I 
guess get player controller then we're gonna have i guess a function in here or uh, an event custom event spawn sap spawn So we're going to remove the authority for now and we'll see how it goes. So always spawn, uh, try to adjust. Yeah, always spawn. Okay. Then we're going to press play. Then we select Quinn and we press play. And then I forgot to do a bunch of things, but if I do F8, uh, we can clearly see that my character did not spawn. So that's a little bit annoying. Controllers can be assigned. Oh, that's right. Um, well, yeah, nothing actually happened when we pressed play. So. When you get the controller, then you cast to my player controller. And now we have access to something called Sapwan. Rename spawn. Good. Then we're going to spawn it. Spawn. Good. When we play we play Quinn, we press play. Cool. Now, the other thing that needs to be done is that the UI, the game mode, uh, input mode, input mode, it's gonna be game only. And then, We're going to create a variable for the menu. Promote the variable. I'm gonna rename that. That's gonna be menu ref. So then we take the menu ref and we're gonna say uh parent something about the parent remove from parent there it is terrible removing child nodes from parents like this uh one last thing we're gonna do is self mouse no set mouse Wait, what did I use? Show. There you go. That's going to be no. Okay, so now if I play, Quinn, play, I still get Manny. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Actually, get player. No, that's just self. There you go. Self. Yeah, it's al already here. Okay, good. That's working. Let's try it again. Let's use Quinn then. Interesting. Okay, uh, right. Something that I did not change. Was that here? Um, 
I need to specify a class. Boink. So here in the menu, uh, we're going to have to get this Quinn play. Oh, now that's interesting. Now it's not working. Player controller can be assigned to widgets. Is not a local player. Okay, so that doesn't work. Oh, that doesn't work either. Okay. So something's going on. Ah. Possess. Add possessable. Possess. Pawn. Cast to a pawn. Okay. Good. We understand each other. Okay, so now if I pick Quinn and I press play, uh, the menu is still there. And why is that? So I spawn, oh. There you go. Not sure why that was disconnected. So Quinn play. Now we have Quinn, go back, let's try Manny, play, and we have Manny, fun. Uh, let's, what is this? Get local player controller. That's probably better. Get player controller. Okay. Many play. Fun. Last one. Quinn play. Okay. Let's do shift F1 and go to this one. Then we're going to have Manny here. Okay, and this one doesn't do anything because he's the client and so he doesn't get to decide what happens. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do about it? Well, whenever we told him to do the spawn, 
Maybe we should do authority. Okay, we can't do that in the menu. So that's interesting. Then we're going to go to the player controller. And we're going to say, hey, buddy. Authority has authority. OK. Then we're going to branch out of here. So if we do have authority, do this. So if I go Quinn and play, then we have authority on here. But if I do this and play, then we don't have authority on here. Okay, so the clients do not have authority. I feel like I need to write this somewhere. Clients do not have authority, but clients on the server, the client pawns on the server do have authority okay good extreme monster it's been a while welcome how's brazil Ooh. okay um so we are going in the right direction now what we're gonna do we're gonna do a custom event and we're gonna say spawn for clients on server. And this is gonna be a run on server kind of thing. Spawn clients on server. Okay, and then we're gonna do another one, custom event. This is gonna be spawn multicast. And this is going to replicate whatever we did on all the other computers. So this is gonna be multicast. And we're gonna spawn an actor on every single other computer that is connected. So then this is spawn multicast, spawn multi. Huh. This again. Spawn. Spawn. multicast there it is okay fun this is a multicast this is a two server okay cool now let's see if it works we're gonna take Manny here and we're gonna take Quinn here okay so clearly Clearly, that did not work. Let me take a second to understand <laughs> and process this. Um, So when we create a widget, it's at the beginning. Am I supposed to just go get player controller or something? Do this. Is that better? That is better. I don't get the error message. Fun. Okay. If 
fun. So... Whew. So the client, when they press this, you call spawn. And then to my player controller, if I print something here, compile save, that's good. Okay, so it got there. Then it checks if it has authority and it's probably going to go here. Ta-da! Okay. Compile, save, play. And uh, we're going to try client, many play. Okay, we still get there. That's good. Are we getting over here? Actually, I should just do toggle breakpoint, then run through it. Okay, so Quinn play. And is it F8? F5? Oh, Unreal Engine 5 has a fancy new debugger. Okay, so we go there and we go into. Okay. So then it stops here. Did, did, did you just comment pen 15 in my chat? Brazil has going on new memes for now. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Shadow. <laughs> um, did I lose my mouse? Okay. Hmm. So that's interesting. I have three player controllers. I don't get it. Um, okay, we're gonna What do we need to check to make that work? Okay, some code is only executed on the server. Okay, so this, this should be executed on the server. So we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna press play and we're gonna see if we get a string that says hello but it's coming from the server let's go okay this is the server so we need to enter with this one okay server hello we got it that's good so this is executed by the server Um, and in there, the server says,
spawn this thing here. But I don't think that's what we're seeing. I'm at work right now, but we'll pop in for time to time. That's cool. No problem. Uh, I should probably say that uh, our friend Shadow over here is uh, slowly chipping away at PA2. So, so yeah, it's underway right now. I guess uh, only Extreme is aware of this right now. Well, that's fine. Can be a little secret. Okay. So, no owner... Gonna toggle the breakpoint. Manny, play, yeah, go. Okay. That's weird. Then what if we go here, we go Quinn. Okay, so that's happening on the server. Okay. Okay. Do I need to pass along? Maybe I do. In the menu here. Uh, no, not like this. Like owner. Okay. Where, where do you get that? Um, then this is this one. And then owner is going to be here. Player controller. Uh, the possess thing. That's not self exactly. That's going to be the owner. Actor object reference is not compatible. This is going to be a pawn. No, it's going to be a player controller. Yeah. Player, controller. Player, controller. Does that work? Okay. We're going to remove the breakpoint. We're going to press play. Quinn, play. Okay, still doesn't work. Class unknown.
What do you mean, class unknown? Some event class. So this is clearly a problem. If we do this one, then this one has Manny, and it's good. But if we go back to the second guy, and then we just press play, this is, it doesn't know what it is, which is ridiculous. Um, and even if we take Quinn, yeah, unknown, okay, so, we do have a problem here with storing information about the clients inside the controllers. Hmm. Oh, it's already been an hour. I just need some water. Let's take five minutes. I'll be right back. Cheers.
We are back. Let's go. Okay. So. This is interesting. Um, apparently, we have three controllers. And... I want to see how it goes back and forth between the controllers. So I'm going to instead put a toggle here and we're going to try that again. So whenever the client says, I want to make something. Here, we're going to go here. OK, so this one sends it to the server. We're going to go into it. Okay. Uh, is there the selected character? doesn't seem to be in here the selected character is in the menu it shouldn't change much I guess because it's being passed along so if we go here yeah so here it's unknown oh well of course it's unknown you dummy of course it is because you need to ah uh, because you need to pass it in here you dummy what have you done there you go all better now um okay so what we'll do here I'm just gonna put this somewhere like so okay and uh, here We kind of need to. OK, we're going to make two variables. One is going to be a uh, pawn class. Character. I went too fast there. Character. We need a class reference and we're going to set it as such. Um, I guess we can add also the owner pawn owner or controller player controller that's going to be a player controller it's going to be my player controller i guess that one and we're going to set that one too it's going to be set to uh, self, of course, as such, but here, the game is different. Cast to my player controller. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. Actually, why do I need this? Can I do my player controller? Yeah, I can. 
let's do that now if I take this it just works and the class can come here class hello what is this it's an actor character character and it should be oh dear there you go that's better I hate this character class reference save Does that work Movement component class. What? There. Better. Actually, yeah. I don't even need this. Uh, my player controller. There you go. Here, same story character. Re character reference class. And this is a my player controller. Okay, so this one goes here, this one goes there. Fun, fun, all good fun. Okay. Here, we're gonna disconnect this, disconnect that, and we're gonna take those, and we're gonna slide them in there. Manny. Okay. We're going to go here. We're going to go into it. We're going to spawn it. Okay, the target here, the target needs to pull, be the player controller. Can I just press play? Oh, okay. So, Okay, so the multicast, because we're two players, it created two of them. So we're not supposed to do a multicast. Interesting. Uh, we're supposed to do a run on owning client. That seems reasonable. Let's try that. Quinn, play. Remove breakpoint, play. Remove breakpoint, play. And now nothing happens. Okay. So I think it needs to be spawned on the server, but then it needs to be possessed. I guess the server can do that. I guess just the server. It doesn't. Hmm. Huh. 
huh what if i delete this and just say run this on the server does that work quinn play okay that makes sense um How? Oh. Huh. I guess we don't need to know if they have authority. Like this. So then, so then we don't need this. Where's the menu reference? So then we don't need the menu reference. viewport okay this is so much cleaner uh, okay so we'll need the possession thing and then this is something we can do elsewhere. So I'm just going to yoink. No, I can't do that. OK, I'm going to delete this. Wow, this is so much cleaner. Wow. So I can literally delete all of these. OK. Then we go back to the menu and basically when it's done spawning, then you, one thing we're going to have to do is remove from parent and it's going to be self. That's going to be the last thing. The other thing we want to do is uh, UI. So UI mode, it's going to be game only game only input mode that's going to be player controller doink here and the other thing is show mouse set to false and then delete yourself compatible with my player controller oh owner does that help okay how interesting play okay so now when we play um the controller that is here pin link yeah okay i i undid this okay so i did need I did need to create the widget here. So create widget. I just didn't need to save it. That's going to be the menu. Player controller. Get player controller. 
Uh, la la la. Okay. Good. We're going places. We are going places, my dudes. It is happening. It is happening. And I also need to do add to viewport. We do need to do that. So play. Now we have a menu on both. I'm going to do Quinn. I'm going to hit play. Oh, snap. Okay. And now if I do the other one, Manny, hit play. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. 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 Huh. Ah. Okay. So. Right now in PA, I'm having trouble sending the car information, like spawn this car and make this player possess it. So I've managed to do it in here. Now, I don't know why I still have the menu now. Um, let's do that again. Quinn play. Okay, fun. Shift F1. Play. It seems like the server only has one controller, but the client has two. So that's interesting. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, can I do has authority? Switch has authority. Authority is only the server, so it's only gonna do one. Am I wrong? Yeah, okay. So. That makes sense. Um, so instead, we're going to say um, branch It's going to be something like player ID. And if this thing is equal to zero, And true. Does that make sense? Oh, it's not equal to zero. Uh, no, it's just a wrong node. Player controller get get local player controller ID. Oh. I guess self. Am I supposed to do this? This equals zero. Does that work? Okay. Queen play. Hop, 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 hop. And then many play. There you go. Whew. So there's a lot to unpack here. That's annoying. Um, okay. I offer you to go back to Project Accelerators and implement what we have learned from this experiment into Project Accelerator because it seems to work now. So let's do it. Let's do it. Just Un momento. I'm not coming back in five minutes. I'm coming back way earlier than that. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to the controller. Okay. So 
So whenever we begin play, we need something that only runs on the server. Okay. Okay, so this is what we'll use. And we don't need this. Now, this needs to be run on server. Okay. We're going to get rid of this also. Um, you don't need the switch for authority. This is this needs to only be executed on so we need a branch here true this needs to only be executed whenever get player controller ID that's going to be self if this is equal to zero this is kind of the player that's playing on this computer right now that's number zero okay so then we'll have a spawn and then we're gonna get game instance get selected vehicle something like this And then this guy doesn't need this, doesn't need this, doesn't need this, doesn't need this. Uh, the owner also needs to be passed along. So we're going to add a pin. And that pin's going to be controller. Just, just controller controller guessing it's this one yeah so this one goes here this one goes there um, and then what you'll do You'll take this and you'll, can you do possess? And this player is going to possess it. That's it. That's it. Possess is here. Initialize multiplayer. Create unlock widget. Okay. so.
here I probably have to connect this. Okay, so yeah, there's a, uh, yeah, it's this one here. So set, that's a car base, I guess. Spawned car. And then the spawned car. So here, forget about this. This is going to go here. Initialize multiplayer. Hmm, you need to be the server. Okay, so instead, the end here is going to go here. This won't be plugged in. Uh, I guess you don't need this. You can just connect this here. And then you'll have to go all the way over here. Those can be brought back here. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't cause issues. Okay. Whoo. Okay, this guy. Get player controller. Right. I need to cast it. How are we going to cast it? Good question. We're going to move all of this garbage a little further. Something like this. Then we're going to say, hey, cast to controller. And then we're going to have this and that and this and that. Okay. Okay. Good. So I guess this can go here. This, I don't know. Up. A little bit better already. Oh. Now is that actually going to work? Oof. Very oof. Okay. Let's try it. I need to synchronize those files. Set for multiplayer. Push. Gonna have to synchronize that to the other computer, so uh, just a moment. Getting there, sorry.
it's um i think the thing i kind of overlooked the most was that for multiplayer you need to send a bunch of information through the rpcs such as a transform the vehicle and the owner Okay, I am fetching, I am starting the project on the other computer. It wasn't started, I'm so sorry. We're getting there. Uh, I just hope this is gonna work because if it doesn't, it's gonna be sad, real sad. Um, but it's okay, we have a an example in the third person project that we made at the beginning of the stream. So we know how to do this so that it works. We, we know it's there, it worked. Whew. Okay, that one has started. Here we're going to host Sensors HQ. I think we have Cove Light set up. Okay, tough crowd. So apparently I was not given a car. Yeah, I don't possess a vehicle which is interesting um, can we do that the other way around can I do a standalone game here Then we're going to join. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, no car was assigned to me. So what did we do wrong? Is it this thing? So self player control ID equals zero. If it's true, I kind of want to do this. I don't know if it changes something. What is this?
This is a run on server. I guess we can do it reliable. So whenever the client comes here, player controller zero, that's fine. Spawn. Then we go here, spawn a car. This is my car now. Can I do a breakpoint? And then I can run this as simulated and then join. Okay, so it doesn't even get there, from what I understand. Okay, so what vehicle do we have? Koblight. Okay, so we have a controller, step into, that's fair, I guess, because if it runs on the server, it won't run on here, so the next thing that executes is this guy. Ah, uh, so that makes sense. I guess. So then let's stop it and remove the breakpoint here and let's go back to being the server. Save selected. Uh, but when you're the server, when you're the server, you can't debug. So instead, you have to put some prints. I guess. Daniel, welcome. You're not a great ghost if you can't possess your car. <laughs> I cannot possess my car. I'm not a great ghost. I'm not a great silencer. No. Um... <laughs> so we're going to go to the silencers. We're going to join. Did something happen up there? We're supposed to see a, a print of some kind. If I try that again, we're supposed to see a hello at the top left corner. Go. Nope. Oh. Two cars got created. I don't want to cut off most of this. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm just going to go around it. Just 
contractor. Okay, actually, let's do the opposite. Stop. Stop. Okay. We're going to play this in this mode. Can I host like this? Okay, so that makes sense. And then with the other one. Yeah, it doesn't even get there. Hmm. Whoa, the target, the target is not the right one. Or was it? Maybe it was. Let's try that again. Yeah, good. That one. Okay, so it still doesn't work. It's crazy that we got it to work in another project, but in this one, doesn't want to do anything about it. It's just not interested. What if we toggle those? Okay, yes. That's interesting. What if, what happens if I remove this here? We'll just include all of them. We'll see what happens. Interesting. So now we do have a car. What did we do in the other project? What did we do in the other project? Mm, project three. Something like that. So we, what did we do? My player controller. 
Yeah, so if if I'm not zero, don't let him in. then you need to possess it. That's it. This is not very hard. Okay, let's let's strip the project a little bit. There's too many things going on. So we were getting three controllers when doing the third person tests. So let's see if we get the same thing with PA. Hey, controller, okay. What do we have? So disconnect this. Let's just disconnect everything. Let's just print something. Ten. Login. Host. Sensors. Host. So here we have one message, server, hello. And whenever we join, okay, get a server, hello, instead of two. So that's interesting. Um, I guess the client doesn't have a player controller for Hmm. Let's grab that and that. So begin play. I'm gonna unconnect this for now. Urgh. This is the spawn stuff. I think the controller doesn't work the same way. I bet that's what it is. Get player controller. Oh, wait, we can't just call self, right? Self? Something like this? client worked but not the server oh I know um, actually this doesn't make sense 
Uh, this is probably, let's try this. Okay, so the server, what's going on with the server? If owning client. So like it, it never appears here. That's interesting. So, okay. This is a run on server, yes? Okay. Custom event. Uh, server spawn. Ah, shoot. I don't want to do this. It's so like vehicle owner. Spawn transform. And then like selected car and then like player controller or something. Uh, controller. This one save. Yes. Gonna set it. Oh, I hate this. So much this, that. Oh, don't be like that. This here. That's a controller like such. There you go. Copy that, bring it home, and then vehicle, transform, owner, then we're going to take the vehicle, then we're going to take a spawn transform. Player controller. Okay. Uh, again, player controller. Target. Okay. That should be good. I hate this. This is so ugly. 
So what's going on here is this is a run on server. And this is not. Okay. So when we get here and we want to do a spawn, well, we need to do a has authority first. Okay. So if you do have authority, then you do the normal spawn. If you don't, you do the server spawn. Then you get same lovely information as these guys. And then you go back to doing whatever you were doing before. Save. Can I spawn my car now? I can't. I cannot. Why is that? Is it the reset? It was the reset. Um, so does that mean that I did all this for nothing? Um, maybe. Let's try it out. Yeah, that seems to be correct. So. I did all of this for nothing. I'm actually glad because that was stupid. This vehicle, like car owner thing. Okay, same thing here. Owner. Here it is. Okay. Does this work? I don't want to see that anymore. Save. Okay. Does that work? Good. Let's ship that to our other computer. It is already five o'clock. Crazy. We've been here for two hours. Two hours, eight minutes. Crazy. It goes by so fast. Okay, so I have it loaded on the other specimen. We're going to create same thing. Hop. Login, join, search, join. Oh, okay. Now, we had that before. We had that working before, but I had a big, big problem with custom cars, changing the car. It was always the same car as the host. So now we have two Cove Light. I'm going to try to change car on the client side. BRB. I'm going to choose reverb, join. Yeah, so as you can see, we still have a problem. Okay. 
Uh... Oh. Run on server. Does that help in any way? Self is already a controller, you don't need to cast it. That is a good point. Good point. Great point, actually. Okay. Uh, let's send those changes again. the Accelodrome. We're gonna join. Okay, so that's still work. Apparently, I went through the floor. Let's try to get back in. Interesting. Can we have like a million cove lights? Join, join again. Oh, suddenly I've been allowed to stay in the race. So that car is just sitting there doing nothing. I wonder if it's just because the spawn point is so low. Maybe. Controller function, Uber graph. Okay, so let's try with another car. Okay, so that's truly interesting. Feels like nothing works. Um, 
We're gonna go here. Going to create Excel drum. Okay, that's good. Go back. I'm going to join. Here it says it's baseline. Wait a minute. Home car slot. Okay, so the game instance gets there. Huh. I do. Let's go check out the game instance. This means that the game will probably crash. If we take carbides. And I host. Still baseline. Step over. Okay. Okay. Cool. And then what does this do? Okay, step over. Also carbide. Yeah, so. That makes no sense. I want to see what happens here again.
Carbide, hello, carbide, hello. Carbide, carbide, hello, carbide, hello, carbide. Uh, where do I print? The name of the car. Hyperpod, hyperpod. Maybe in the game instance? Perhaps. Okay. Ooh. Okay, save game. Maybe at the event graph. Come on, my man. Is this the event graph? How about car base? Begin play. No. Where on earth is the print? We have one in the persistent level. Okay. Okay. Save game check. This runs three times. Is that what I see? One, two, three. I don't think that's normal. Reference. Uh, find references. Okay, so begin play. 
Can we just go through this? See what's going on. What'd you break? Um, not sure yet. So step over, step into, step into. Okay, this is my information. Cast to my game mode. Everyone updates. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? So over into over over into over 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 into everyone updates is there at least a controller if it's true clear all the controllers then for all the controllers. Get a controller. Okay. Sorry. Step out. And then for all the controllers again, add player info. Step into. So you have all the player info and then you add them to the lobby clear player list for all the information of all the players update player window okay So self-controlled pawn. Step out. Okay. Step over, step over. This gives you a list of all the actors. This is false. Wow. Then we go back. Okay, so now we have some points. That's false. You find a location, you spawn the car. So that's because of the there's some persistent level stuff going on which I don't enjoy shoot it was right there uh, where is it persistent level
Hmm. I kind of want to create an event dispatcher. Uh, create or spawn map loaded or something like that. load then reset player bond that's probably not a good idea instead we're gonna call map loaded And then in the controllers, what you're going to do you're going to get level get level get streaming level can I say persistent level get current level name that's probably what I need then we're gonna do get level cast to persistent What did I call it? Map loaded. Map loaded. Get loaded level. Can I do that? Uh, cast to persistent hmm access event dispatcher in Unreal Engine Level Blueprint. Just une momento. Unfortunately, it seems that trying to reference something within a level blueprint will not work as intended. However, if you create this event dispatcher within a regular blueprint, you'll be able to cast it to the level blueprint if needed and to add another blueprint to that. The documentation may be some assistance. Shoot! It's useless. So, where is it? This one. Delete. We don't need you. Um, uh, 
how? Am I supposed to do this? Like persistent level select. This might take a while. And it crashed. Back to the persistent level. Okay, good. Levels, good. Now here, we're going to have to create our own little uh, blueprints. Blueprint library, I guess. going to create a blueprint. It's going to be an actor. And it's going to be level manager. Okay. In there. We're going to create an event dispatcher and it's going to be level ready signal. Okay. Um, and then we're going to place it at zero, zero, zero. Does it actually, does it? Yeah, it looks like something. Uh, default scene root rendering. I guess actor is hidden in game. That works. Cool. So now that we have that thing inside of there, open level blueprint. Uh, we're gonna delete this and we're gonna say hey Let's get get actor of class Level Manager And we're going to call a signal ready event. That seems fair. It seems like I don't need this.
Okay. Then we're gonna go to the controllers. And here we'll say get actor of class uh, level manager mm. I guess I could do some kind of branch which is like get level name and if this thing is equal to persistent level And so whenever you get this thing, then you can say bind uh, bind on what exactly? Signal bind on signal. Level manager, level ready signal. Bind on level, level ready signal. Okay, good. Then we're gonna do another custom event it's going to be called resume creation of player i guess and we can go from there How about that? Hopefully that changes something. Hop. Carbide, carbide. Okay. So carbide is in here. It's in here. So why does it happen twice? Here we're going to add this. Okay. Step over. Step into. Step over. Step into. Over, 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 over. Call update. Okay, and take all my information. Replicated to server. Okay, so the server then gets this and the server will
Why this? Can we? Host this. Yeah, I don't need this anymore, probably. That probably won't work. So much have has been different. Um, wait a minute. When does this get called? Okay. So this only gets called here. So how many times does this get called? Initial setup. Do we call this? Interesting. What if I don't log in? I find that kind of crazy. Does this, when does this get called? It never gets called. How incredibly interesting. So when, what comes first, the controller or that thing? Let's find out. Okay, so this first, and then the event begin play. So why, why do we need this? Can we remove it? Remove, save, zoom, go break point. Little break point. Okay, so now it happens once. Fun. How about over here? Okay. Um this is false, then we should just go here. Um, oh, 
host. So this is kind of or. And then you'll have If I'm not the host, so if I'm not in a persistent level, no, actually, that makes sense. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's save that. Oh man. Oh man. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna create a little server. And then we're gonna wait. For the client to come back. Come on, client. Let's go. Okay, I just want to check something here. Login. Okay. Okay, so that doesn't work uh, because, because, Uh, only the host, right? So I need an and host. Uh, multiplayer. If isn't multiplayer. So that should be and. That's an or. Something like this. Okay, let's try that again. Well, I thought I had it down. I guess I didn't. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let that one float for now. Make a little server again. Okay. Ah. Log in, join, join. OK. 
Okay. So I did not spawn. Was that game mode? Mm. Is it in the controller? Yeah, it's this one. I kind of want to disconnect so many things, just bare bone, like have nothing interfere with whatever we're doing. So if you're in multiplayer, you'll always get If you are in a multiplayer, if you're the host and if it's persistent level, so it will always be persistent level whenever you're in multiplayer. So this does not make sense. So if you're the host, I want to do that. The other possibility is you not being in multiplayer That's better. That's better. 
My goodness. Okay, let me replicate this on the other guy. Now that's interesting. That works. Yeah, that's funny. Does that help in any way? Good, okay. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, we had this thing in the controller that had supposed to like set this to that Okay, is that what's going on? Okay, so now the information is being passed along, which is nice, um, but, but, uh, no car, we're not getting a spawn. Um, why is that? Not sure. Can I print something? I just added a print to see if it actually goes in the path that I want it to go. We'll see how it goes.
Okay, so I didn't get a message on this one, but I got a message on the other computer and it seems to work. So that's good. So there is a condition here that has nothing set to it. So I'm going to check if it actually goes in there and stops the process. Okay, so that is exactly what's going on. Uh, it's getting stuck in there. No spawn points available. This is actually error. Um, controller, um, begin play, no spawn points available, okay. So huh. Let's go back to car base. have a lot of things here that I think should be in the controller. Uh, so whenever you begin, Disable neons. That is strange. Um, set whole selection screen. Seal teleport. In car. In car. Initialize multiplayer. When does that even get called? It's in the controller. Okay. Um. Do we get to this point at all? Um, can 
Can I join a game? As... I think that doesn't work. Oh, shoot, it does. What was that? Yeah, no suitable spawn points found. How do you get... I guess that would be game mode information. Game mode. like we need a branch we need to say like hey is this multiplayer and if it is That's false. You can just go back to whatever you were doing. Can I store things in the game mode? Track. This is a realm. And basically this one, can I get another branch? So if this is multiplayer, if it's false, you just go there. It doesn't matter. But if it's true, get game mode. Get game mode function library. Okay, fair enough. Uh, function library. Whoa. Uh, well, there's a lot of them. Get game mode, make it pure, yes. There you go. So then I can do track, set track. That's going to be uh, get my game instance, get Selected realm. I, 
guess we don't need this. And then over here, if it's true, you're going to print. Um, get game mode track get track get game mode from the function library get track oh no get track all the way to the bottom then you're going to can I do that is that something that I can do we're gonna have to send out an update to the people over here. Okay, go back, play, login. Okay, so now I was actually looking for a print, print screen, might have missed it. So apparently this is Storm Realm. And I don't think that's true. Uh, the ultimate race is selected. Yeah, that's right. So, as far as I can see, uh, do we need to, like, replicate this? Just gonna say replicated for now. Uh. Fun. So let's go back, log in. Post. Yeah, so the ultimate race is the one that's selected right now. So now if it's replicated, is it going to work? No. Um, to make sure, 
Let's look at what the internet has to say about it. Unreal Engine Game Mode Replication. There are two main classes which handle information about the game being played, game mode and game state. Even the most open-ended game has an underpinning of rules. On the most basic level, these rules include the number of players and spectators present, how players enter the game, which can include rules for selecting small locations, whatever, whether or not the game can be paused, transition between levels, including whether or not the gamer should start in a cinematic mode. When rule-related events in the game happen and need to be tracked or shared for all players, that information is stored and synced through the game state. This information includes how long the game has been running, when each individual player joined the game, base class for current game mode. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Game mode only exists on the server, so a client cannot cast to one. Okay. Okay, so this doesn't work. We're going to delete it. So it feels like what should be done here is that this so what I want to know we're gonna custom event load celadrome And that's going to be like run on server. So load Acceladrome. And then this is going to call another create custom, custom event. It's going to say something like load acceladrome load client acceladrome um, so here we're gonna say stream level by name and this one is going to be on owning client load client acceladrome my game instance something like that get selected acceladrome get name 
file name. Make visible after load should block on load or something, something like that. Okay. Gonna send that. Guys, we have been streaming for three hours and a half. That's good. We're gonna get this to work. Even if it makes me mad. We're going places. So then join. Just gonna do this. Okay. So nothing happened. Okay, cool. Um, Can I? Yeah. Okay, so that didn't work. But if I leave this and I do a standalone game. Then I can create a server here. in from here shoot I missed a message interesting
Sorry guys, just following some breakpoints here. Huh. Uh, Unreal Engine Send No Stream Level RPC Note procedure call. On owning client. Is it because I don't have it? Here, print on the client. Okay, target is controller replicated to server. Right, and of course I forgot to link this going all the way over there. Um, but like, hmm. Okay, so something strange happened. The flow didn't arrive at the same time and I don't know why.
something happened twice and I don't get too much why uh, controller something we could do is resume creation of player We're going to switch to this one. And we're going to toggle a breakpoint. Okay, join one, why second one, and then no suitable spawn points, what is this? Join. Step over. Step over. Step into. Okay. Now we have to stop. Car carbide. We don't need this. Um. I want to know what's happening here. I want to know what's happening here. Step over, step over, into. Okay, so this is good. That's really cool, actually. Um, then we're gonna step. Over. Okay. Step into. Oh. No suitable spawn point found. That means no accelerodrome, so that's false. That's a different error. So we can remove those, remove those. Remove that. So what's going on here? Yeah, you step into. So over, over, over. Okay, so we have three of them as expected. Is it as expected? Yes, there's a realm start. Yes, that, that works. Yes. So then step over. And this condition is false. Why? Uh, it's not disabled. 
But what is Kenobi's Accelerodrome? Here, uh, I kind of prefer getting this one here, that one here, and removing that one and getting that one here. So then you can do my game instance set selected Acceladrome Okay. It's going to be a bit more healthy. Okay. Good. Wisdom creation of players. Let's try that. Okay. Do we even... get here? We don't. Okay, I think uh, this is when there's a mismatch in code between the server and the client. So I'm going to push those changes. We're going to stick as being the client. Uh, PC2 is going to be the server. This allows us to debug the client. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay. Shoot, I didn't see the message. I did not see the message. Okay, stop, stop that. Okay. We're going to switch roles. Uh, we're going to create the server. Wait, stop. Controller. the server there you go yes good and then whoops I shouldn't have done that and we're gonna see what's happening with our user number two Okay, so step over. Okay, this is the same. The pawn to be possessed, the current value, none. Okay. Uh, so that's interesting. So... Ugh. I was not expecting this. This is not working correctly. So you have vehicle. I guess we can toggle the breakpoint here. I guess. So that's, we're going to remove the breakpoint here, but we do want it here. Okay. So here we have carbide. Here it's false. Let's step over. This is false. Car table row names. What? What? Where is this?
print error in controller in get car on unable to find pawn of selected vehicle that is weird it's probably because of this actually my game instance Does that help in any way? So I'm going to create it. Yeah, resume. Resume. Oh. So that did work. Um, no suitable spawn point found. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. It's we're almost at four hours, so um, I'll keep working on it. There's just a lot of code that I didn't write and I don't really understand it. So but I, I do feel we're going somewhere. Um, taking a long time, but we are going somewhere. We're fixing one thing at a time, and I do believe I understand much better the RPCs now. Uh, it just seems like the plugin that we're using for the multiplayer has a specific way of working. And it's different from the one that we did at the beginning of this stream, which is uh, just like on the same computer. But whatever, we're, we'll figure it out. And I'll see you next week. Thank you for coming. Say, we'll say thank you to our Patreons. Simi the Simi, Toxicent, Star Striker, Shadow, Mystical Gaming, OPN, Dresser, Electronics, Pentadude, Yuk Dresser, Draco Kuregane, Agent Class X, FG01, Neutral, The Cool Nerd Plays VR, Pixel, Frostix, and Hub. Thanks so much, everyone. Salut, Daniel. We'll see you next week. Cheers.